Oh my god. Uh, our ghost apparition has been seen. Can you come close to me? That is insane. Charles, can you grow this flame? It's like a scratching noise. Careful, man. What's he doing? Hey. Hi guys, thank you for tuning in to Amy's Crypt. I am currently back at the Haunted Palace here in Kota, India. Just waiting to lose all the sunlight so that it can get ready to do some paranormal investigations here. The Bruj Raj Bhawan Palace is considered to be one of the most haunted places in India. It was where Major Charles Burton, along with his sons, were caught up in a mutiny and murdered. Charles is said to haunt the property to this day, so we spent the night to attempt to communicate with his spirit. Okay guys, I am currently sitting in room two where I am sleeping tonight. I am going to try to reach out to our resident ghost, Charles Burton, on my spirit box. See if uh, we're able to pick up any voices, particularly ones that are speaking English and sound like they have a British accent. Charles isn't said necessarily to haunt any one place in this hotel. He's mostly been sighted in the main parts within uh, the palace, though people have sensed his presence in these very rooms. So we're going to go lights out and try and reach out. Last light. Hello, my name is Amy. Charles, are you here? Do you want to talk? Charles, if you're here, can you give me a sign? Can you say your name for me? How do you feel about people staying in your home? Charles, is your family with you? Is there anything that you would like to say to me? Can you tell me what your son's names were? Why did you come to India? Can you come and say hello? Hello, my name is Amy. Charles Burton, are you here by any chance? Charles, if you are here, can you come close to me and use this device to say hello? Thank you. So I tried two different frequencies there. I was getting more through on one of those. Uh, I don't know that it was anything relevant. I always like to review my footage afterwards anyway, because a lot of the time 
I'll pick up voices and not even realize in the moment or maybe I'll hear something and not be able to interpret it live and then when I watch my footage back then I can play it a few more times or turn up the volume or decrease it whatever helps me hear it better so I can I'll definitely be reviewing that footage but yeah that was a spirit box in room two we're gonna try something a little bit different uh, for Amy's script we're gonna do an EVP session but I've also lit a candle and we're going to be using a mirror as well. I'm going to try and reach out and just see if we're able to pick up any electronic voice ph phenomena or see if there's any way that if there is a spirit around, maybe it will be able to affect the candle. Hi, my name is Amy. If there are any spirits in this room that would like to communicate, could you please come close to me? Tell me your name. Charles, are you here? If you are here, can you come close and make this candle flicker? What are you making noise with? Nothing. What is that noise? What noise? I can hear a scratching noise coming from you. No. Is it your jacket? <laughs> no, it's not me. <laughs> can, can you not hear that? It's like a scratching noise coming right from you. Like this? more scratchy than that like no I can't hear anything okay are you making a scratching noise can you do that again can you show yourself to me in this mirror I like the candle just got bigger Looks the same to me. Does it? Maybe it's in my head because I'm staring at it. Can you make this flame flicker for me? Can you move the flame? stretch this flame anymore? Charles, can you grow this flame? It's doing it again. That is insane. In real life, I can see it, like, right here. It looks very tall. I don't know if it's going to look as good on camera though. That's crazy. That's like two hands high. Charles, are you affecting this candle flame? It just went back down. You can definitely see that on the camera. I don't know if it looks as good as what we're seeing. Oh, there it goes again. Charles, can you make the light flicker now? That, that is... <laughs> It's a super tall. Uh, okay, hang on. That it, is crazy. It's like up to here, but on the camera you can't see it. The camera it comes down to here, but it's it's like up to here. I'm gonna get my other camera as well to see if maybe it's just the candle, guys. That is huge. Oh, now it's gone down. Okay, that's Charles. Hard. Can you affect the flame again? Let me just put my hand here so people can see how high this is. Charles, can you make the flame big?
Shit, that was me, sorry. That was just Jared. Charles, can you show yourself to me in the mirror? That flame is huge. Can you make the flame flicker? Pretty big. Maybe just for people just at home, the, the flame is actually coming up to about here. Well, now I just went down because I put my finger above it. But on the camera, it only looks like it's coming down to here. But it's like, I don't know if it's because it's just very faint, but we can see it and it's very tall. Mm. Maybe we've just got like a mega wick in this candle. <laughs> in this <laughs> candle. <laughs> Okay, it's not like my breath or anything. Because when you apply it, yeah, it does that. It okay, flickers. that's Amy's breath. Okay, guys, so this is a candle that was in this room, <laughs> and there's only one, so it's not like we can test another burn of another candle to see if they work similar. And maybe it is just the type of candle, and we don't burn this type of candle frequently enough to not be impressed by how big the flame is going so i'm not going to say that this is paranormal this is cool though <laughs> all right guys so we're gonna to have to review all of that footage but it was very interesting how this candle reacted and if you look at it now the flame is teeny tiny let me zoom in here yeah so it looks more like a normal candle flame now to me at least and what was most interesting was the candle started acting up and flaring up that way when i asked charles to manipulate the flame what do you guys think about that um let me know in the comments below have you had candles do that for you before do you have any thoughts on it is that normal behavior for a candle or do you think it's possible that spirits can manipulate a flame such as that i haven't really experimented much with it i don't know too many of the theories behind it either and i'm not saying it's paranormal but it is interesting uh we'll also be reviewing the footage for evps and seeing if we're able to pick out anything that wasn't audible uh, to us in in the uh, sound recordings at the time so that might be interesting as well all right guys we're just about to leave room two which we've done a few paranormal investigations inside we've also done some inside the actual palace but now we want to cover the gardens because it is quite late i'm not going to do a spirit box or anything overly loud i'm going to run a ghost tube session and i'm going to hit record right now so you'll see those overlays on the screen i'm just going to walk around the garden see if we get any words through um, we do have an english speaking resident ghost here so our dictionary is set to English and then we've got the magnetometer, which is measuring any fluctuations in the magnetic field. So we're going to have a walk around and just see if we pick anything up. It's actually really beautiful here at night and there's full on security guarding this place as well. So we feel super safe <laughs> sleeping here. Oh, we've just got a word through, a uh, digger. I don't know what that could be relevant to. We we're also recording for EVPs, but that's, if we do get anything through, it's, I mean, there's so much sound pollution out here that we can't really say for sure that it could be anything paranormal. So anyway, we're not really listening for EVPs. There's a lot of dogs barking and every now and then we can hear traffic across uh, the river from the city, but yeah, we'll see. Charles, are you here with us? Can you come close to me? Oh, I can hear voices over there. I think they're maybe coming from the other side of the riverbed, though. You can hear them too, right? Mm hmm It sounds close, though, doesn't it? Charles, can you come and talk to us? Are you able to say something to us?
Oh, Careful, Ames. Oh. What's he doing? Hey, get down. Oh. <laughs> Ames, come on, let's go. <laughs> get down. Get away. They're not biting you, are they? No. Oi. Oh, yeah, Ames, come on, let's go. Get down. Okay, a boat mission. <laughs> Let's get back in the safety of our room. <laughs> oh, scratch. Got the word shout free while the dogs were like attacking us, so maybe it was saying to shout at the dogs to get them away. But yeah, they came and they bit us and like jumped up at us. It wasn't hard biting or anything, but I mean, we don't know these dogs. So. I know they have one uh, pet here, but there was like, was there three dogs there? It started with one, and that is the pet. That one's like old as f and it ain't bothering anybody. Two more ran up at us, and the other ones, because they were much younger, the other one was jumping up at us. We're gonna go and Every, try that again. It's not an Amy's Crypt episode if we don't get attacked by f animals. <laughs> I don't know if we should go back out. All right, guys, take two. We're gonna be brave and venture back out side. Hopefully we can just stay off the radar of those dogs, or they're not gonna bother us because they just, know that we're wimps and we'll run away to our room. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna go back out and try and resume. Creaky door. Great. Okay, ready? I'm too scared to go back out the front because I reckon the dogs will be back there. But I think I can hear the dogs. I can hear dogs all around us. And I can't tell if they're dogs from the city, they're dogs over here, or what. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. Let's walk down towards the river. Okay. Charles Burton, are you around? It's so, you can hear so much noise coming off the city. I don't know how much the camera will pick it up. If those dogs that came up to us before were security dogs, they weren't very good security dogs. <laughs> that is very valid feedback for this place. I don't think they are, I think they're just pets. Surely they're friendly, they have, it's a hotel, like, I don't know. No one told us to stay in our rooms either, by the way, if they had some vicious guard dogs, like. I don't want them to come down here because they'll corner us. <laughs> I feel like this just spiked and got higher here. Is it staying there or is it coming up and down? Yeah, it's pretty consistent. Like, it's about halfway. It's higher than like normal. Can you hold it near the ground and see if it does anything? Stand up again. Let's have a look at it. Is that normal? Mm, not, it's not normal to stay that high, but... Yeah, let's walk over here and see if it drops. If it's consistent, then I think it's nothing. Maybe it's like this area or some. Oh, it's just dropped. <laughs> Charles, are you here? Can you say something to us? Give us a sign that you're here. Now I can hear a duck or something down there. It's going, it's peaking again. That's not normal then, that's abnormal. You smell that? Yeah, something's burning. Now we can smell like burning. There's too much noise going on here. There's so much noise. I think it's dogs attacking each other and... Maybe pigs. Yeah, that's a pig or something. That's a duck. <laughs> All right. Every so... time, everywhere in India we've tried to do EVPs, it's been so noisy. All right, guys, I'm going to stop recording now. Interesting magnetic fluctuations there on the app. I mean, it could have been just natural fluctuations in the Earth's magnetic kind of field, or I don't want to say it was paranormal, but who knows? <laughs> I also don't want to get attacked by them dogs again. 
So we're gonna go back to our room. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope they enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you want to read anything more about this palace or other haunted places that I have visited, head to amyscrypt.com. Until next time.